Good morning, folks. It's Nana GL54. Uh, Janet, hi. I'm sorry. I'm a mess. I just woke up. It's been a rough night. Um, uh, I have a de-stash um, of dyes, and uh, and I'm going to be de-stashing a lot of things, hopefully in the next two days. Um, uh, I want to show you a picture. Um, my, my youngest granddaughter, if some of you... Um, uh, some of you uh, remember my mystery guest when I, you know, had my, the grands were small 10 years ago. And, um, and they used to come and do um, guest spots. Anyway, my youngest granddaughter, everybody's healthy and fine. But um, last night, her horse, um, it, uh, these grands uh, have horses, This, these two. Um and they've been through a season of loss. Uh, the mom just lost her horse, um, had a terrible accident um, in the middle of the night, and they had to put her down. And then um, it's, there's just been another horse got a got a um, a rare disease for the other grandchild, and they had to they had to take care of that situation. And so that's happened in the last uh, year, two years. Um, my youngest granddaughter, um, they these kids live in the country and they work. They've been working since they were little, um, doing chores, earning money, riding ponies for people that have unruly ponies and um, working them out and, and getting them where another child can ride them. Um, these kids, they live a simple life. They don't dress in... Um, designer clothes you know when Nana and Pa come to town they get you know they get special treats and stuff like that but they their mom and dad choose to live a simple life and they want their children to um, enjoy the simple things in life and they love animals so a uh, long story short um, Riley worked and worked and worked um, she's gonna be 16 and um, so she started working at a barn she started taking lessons she wanted to do dressage and eventing so she started taking um, lessons from a, a large event lady. So she had to work really hard. It's expensive, so she had to work really hard. Well, the lady liked the way Riley had a work ethic and the way she did things and how she was with her horses because this lady has hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of horses in her barn. She's a big time trainer and stuff. So uh, Riley worked for her and earned money and there was a horse there that she fell in love with, but he was an expensive horse. And she would get to ride him once in a while just to exercise him. And she, her heart, she lost her heart to this horse. And she would say to her mom, you know, oh, if, if he could be mine, things like that. And she would daydream about him. And, you know, she loved on all the other horses, but this guy was hers. And so when she went to the barn, she treated him like it was hers. And um, we prayed about it. I just, you know, for a kid to lose their heart like that because she's around lots and lots of animals. Um, I just started praying about it. And I know the Lord wants to give us the desires of our hearts when we, when we're obedient and we we recognize him in our lives and these kids recognize the Lord in their lives. So, um, uh, she knew that she could never have him, but you know, could pretend in her mind. One day the trainer came out to her mom and said, the lady wants to sell him because she was, the owner was boarding him at this hurt the trainer's barn very expensive barn and she said she wants to sell him and she wants she wants to sell him but she wants to sell him to somebody that's going to be good to him that she knows that she could come and see anyway god god did a work in that woman's heart and it took every dime that my granddaughter had saved for years and um and mom and dad surprised her and kicked in the rest and it was expensive but like I said, they don't get designer shoes. They they shop at Walmart. You know, Nana brings them things, but Nana also brings them thrift store clothes. So Christmas was such a such a joy. It was so wonderful. I got to show you um, a picture of um, of her horse.
And um, last, she wrote him yesterday. She had a lesson with him in the morning. And um, I, I didn't know this, but he had a previous before in his previous owner, you know, life with pre previous owner, he had a surgery. Um, and um, it, I don't know what happened. His uh, intestines ruptured. Last night, they didn't know what happened, but they knew he was in pain, so they put him in the trailer and took him to the vet, the emergency uh, animal hospital, and they did, I guess, um, MRI or whatever they do to see that, and he was septic, and they had to put him down immediately to keep him out of pain. So she lost her horse. She got him at Christmas. She just had him since Christmas. Doggone it. Um, so I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. Because, um, like I said, I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. These people, they, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be right for my husband and I just to hand the money to buy another horse. And um, right now in these times, we really shouldn't do that. And it wouldn't be good for the kids. So things have to cost something. It can't just be, you know, come out of the clear blue sky. So I'm going to sell a bunch of dyes. Um, and I'll be back. And, um... I'm going to sell some dyes and um, maybe some Christmas fodder, whatever you guys are interested in. Um, if there's something that you're looking for, um, uh, put it in the comments in this video and, and I will look for it. But I'm coming with some, uh, some videos, de-stash videos. Thank you. Bye.